And Betsy McCoy, thank you very much for joining us this evening. It's good to see you. Thank you. So you are actually out in Western New York. This is uh, you've not a place that you usually are. We usually speak to you from New York City. And uh, you are warning, actually, you're part of a number of Republicans who are warning that the, the Democrats are trying to do is actually, in your, in your words, a lie regarding Medicare. Could you explain that, please? That's right. Well, I came to Western New York uh, as a patient advocate. I wanted to make sure the seniors are getting accurate information about Medicare. And this election tomorrow uh, is a dress rehearsal for the national contest in 2012. Hmm. And both this election and the 2012 election, I'm worried, will turn on a lie. The lie is that the Democrats are saving Medicare as we've known it. That's untrue because the Obama health law passed last year eviscerated Medicare. Uh, it took $575 billion out of Medicare, out of future funding for Medicare, and moved it over to fund a vast expansion of Medicaid mm. and also subsidies for middle class families. So, uh, you know, I think that what's become quite clear, even uh, and there's a lot of inflammatory statements going on on both sides, that Medicare as we know it in its current form, both sides generally say it's time to look at everything that's on the table. Uh, Kathy Hochul, the Democratic that candidate, is has incorrect. said. That is incorrect. That is not the... Uh, just, just, one, just one moment. That, however, that's incorrect. However, we've had... However, just one moment, if you don't mind. The Assemblywoman, Jane Corwin, has said that she embraces Paul Ryan, the congressman from Wisconsin, his proposal to overhaul Medicare as well. So it sounds to me that if, you're, if what you're saying is correct, that the Democrats, in fact, want to change Medicare as we know it, don't the Republicans also want to change Medicare as we know it? Well, let me set the record straight on the facts first. Okay. The fact is that the Medicare that exists today, Medicare under the Obama health law, is not Medicare as we've known it. First of all, $575 billion have been taken out of funding for Medicare over the next decade to fund two other entitlement programs. So Medicare has been shortchanged. It's been raided. Literally, what they've done is rob grandma to pay Medicaid beneficiaries. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul, except in this case, it's a robbing of one generation to fund benefits for another generation. Okay, but Secondly, Medicare, uh, as we find it now under the Obama health law, it, it, seniors are really in the hands of an independent payment advisory board, a new decision-making body okay, hold on, created hold on, hold under on. this law. I, I understand, and forgive me for interrupting, but, but just, just if, if you don't mind, the question regarding Republicans and what they have proposed regarding Medicare. Do you, do you not agree that Republicans have also proposed changing Medicare? Does not the Paul Ryan proposal change Medicare? Yes, the first thing it does is to repeal the Obama health law, stop the raid on the Medicare funds, and restore those funds for seniors. because. Uh, it's obvious that the nation has to have a serious discussion about entitlement programs, but the place to start is by not creating new entitlements. And the Obama health law created two big new entitlements and took money out of Medicare to fund them. The Ryan proposal would restore that funding back to Medicare for another generation but of seniors. Going, but going forward, the Ryan proposal also says that people who are not currently in the Medicare system would not see the Medicare system as it currently exists, would actually have to do a complete, a complete overhaul of that system. No, that's not correct. Uh, beginning in 2022, a whole other decade from now, uh, people who are now in their 40s or early 50s would be provided with a premium support. They would be told that they can choose a private health plan and the government will pay the premium. Mm -hmm. That is an alternative to consider. But the most important part of the Ryan proposal is that it repeals the Obama health law and restores the funding for Medicare that literally has been robbed, raided, to create these brand new Obama health law entitlements. So if, if tomorrow the Democrat, Kathy Hochul, actually wins, and we've seen from the polling that many people in New York 26 are quite concerned about Medicare, in fact the whole race might be turning on this particular issue, d will that be a message, in your opinion, sent to the Republicans that they should back down off it? I mean, even Newt Gingrich has said that he, he considered the Ryan proposal radical, although now he's backed down off that somewhat. Well, what my concern is that seniors are being told a lie, that they're being told that 
by voting for a Democrat, they will pr be protecting Medicare as we've known it. When in fact, Medicare as we've known it was destroyed last year under the Obama health law. And the first thing that needs to be done is to repeal that health law, restore the funding for Medicare that was robbed, raided by the Obama health law, and take it from there. Okay, and just to be clear, you are, you are in fact supporting Jane Corwin, but today's uh, appearance in Western New York was not actually an endorsement. You are speaking to senior citizens regarding It was not Medicare. a political appearance. My, my effort is to deliver accurate information to seniors on Medicare, what Medicare as we've known it versus the Obama version of Medicare, which is a very pale comparison, robbed of money, and the alternatives that may exist in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Ms. McCoy. It's great to see you, as always.